Namaste. I'm Swati Singhania and today I wanted to remind you about our video that we launched in first week of May. This video had spoken about how to manage cash flow in difficult times. And as we are entering mid-July, uh, all of us know that right now our cash flows are almost at the most difficult positions possible. So I thought I'd bring to your attention this video again. And for people who started following this video back then in May, I thought I'd do a follow up as to things you need to do so that you can ease your cash flow a little better during these difficult times. So some of us have started operations. Some of us are still under lockdown and our operations have not started. But for people who started operations, I do hope that there is some amount of revenue that you've started getting in. And that also means that there will be some amount of cash flows that are coming into your business. So if you started receiving cash flows, remember you made some promises to your suppliers who we had agreed to ration out uh, their payments. And also some of our employees, we had discussed that we can ration out their payments. So remember, you have to live up to your promise and start paying them as per your promise. Now, in case your revenues have not started kicking in still and the cash flows are getting more difficult, it is very important to go back and revisit the whole calculation and see what is the incoming that you're expecting in the next two to three months and what is the outflows that you are expecting in the next two to three months. Also, if you think that you are in a business which may not come to normal so easily, then maybe it is time to take a little bit of hard decisions and understand which are the costs which are not so important for you. This also gives us the time as business owners to understand that what are the expenses which we are not ready to give away and what are the expenses that we can live without. So let's do a recalculation on that and understand maybe we can actually start looking at a smaller office as compared to the lavish office that we have been because even the smaller office can serve to our purpose. Also, some of us have changed the way we'll be doing our business virtually. So it is also time to remodel the whole business and then go back to our cash flows. So I thought I'll give a, a reminder to all of you as to it's very, very important to plan your cash flows because in the next two to three months, things are going to be very, very volatile for some of us. It's going to be very good for some of us, especially for people who are in healthcare industry. And it's going to be very, very difficult for some of us. So let's go and revisit our cash flows. If you want to go ahead and look at the detailed video, the link is shared with you right there. So feel free to have a look at there. And I hope this helps. We are going to come back with many interesting financial topics in the next few days. We hope we are adding value to your life. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. Thank you so much. This is Swati Singhania. Namaste.